A beef hot pot is the ultimate comfort food. We're gonna put lots of vegetables into it, uh, carrots, a little bit of onion, some nice gravy, and some sliced potatoes. So it's really, really simple. The key is browning off the beef, which I've done, and that takes about 15 minutes. So first of all, let, let's talk about the beef. So this is the beef that I'm using, the Borbia Quality Mark. It's the diced Irish Angus, and it's nice and lean, you can see that. So I've just literally opened a full packet and browned it off, and I'm gonna take that out now, and that takes about 10 to 12 minutes. So I'm going to leave the oil and a bit of butter in it and then we're going to start to put in our vegetables. So we are. So there's lots of lovely flavours. You can see that nice golden brown colour. Now you can toss it in flour. I'm not actually going to do that if you want to because I think you get a better colour when you do it like this. Okay, so into the casserole pot. We're going to put in one carrot which I've just peeled and we're going to cut it in half. So hold it at either side when you're cutting your vegetables and you want to cut this nice and chunky. Okay, so just keep the flat part like that and I'm just cutting it at a wee angle there so see that and then curve your fingers so this is going to go in here into the casserole pot just be careful when you're doing that that it doesn't skite and then what we're going to do is we're going to just literally show you how to chop an onion and quite roughly it's not going to be too fine at all so peel your onion keep the flat side down and then just if you go to the end of the onion like I've done there make one incision and then just grab it like that and then we're going to chop this and then when you get like this see this here you just literally go all over it like that so it doesn't have to be too finely chopped remember it's going to take about an hour and 20 an hour and 30 minutes to cook so in goes the onions that's half the onion in there now i'm going to get a light little bit of color not too much into the onto the vegetables because the key is getting the beef done i think that is the key into this lovely so that's one onion, carrot, you can put celery into it, you can put leeks. I kind of wanted to keep this recipe really, really simple. That, um, you know, you can get your children peeling the vegetables and get it cooking. And all that is lovely flavour in there. You can see that lovely sediment there from the actual beef. So there's beautiful flavour into that. Now I'm not putting any wine into this. I am going to put tomato puree. And I'm going to use this lovely Simply Better beef gravy here. So instead of using some beef stock, you could use some nice beef stock if you wanted to. But this is really lovely. This is made from Spice of Life which is a really, really lovely uh, company based in Dunman, right? And then we're going to flavour it with Liam Pernis. You can see I use a lot of that at home. Okay, some fresh thyme. Love fresh thyme. So I'm literally going to pick off these lovely little leaves and this is going to go into the pot. So thyme works beautiful with this. You could use rosemary, but I think thyme is probably better for this. And then with any of the little sprigs, when you've taken off the little leaves, what you can do is you can just simply use them for stock, for vegetable stock, just throw them into your freezer. Don't waste it, there's lots of flavour there. Now just pick that. So you're just removing the little leaves there. Now you can chop it if you want to, but you have to chop it really fine because some of the stalks can be a little bit woody. So that goes there. Our tomato puree next. So roughly about a dessert spoon, or a, you know, about two to three tables teaspoon should I say of uh, tomato puree in there and then our lovely Worcester sauce so a good drizzle of this in here so you browned off the beef a little bit of rapeseed oil a little bit of butter and then I'm going to put the full tub of the beef gravy in and I'm going to put the same amount of water so I'm just going to go over here get some water and that's going to go in there now okay so this needs to come back to the boil you're going to scrape all that lovely sediment down and then just stir it through the tomato puree. You can put a can of tomatoes if you want, there's no problem there. Them are brown beef. So this is the Irish Angus beef. So this is from Jennings in Ballinrobe. I have had the pleasure of going down to visit them and they're great people. I really like them. So just stir this. So just lightly or nicely brown the beef and the little bit of rapeseed oil and butter the butter will give lovely flavor but the rapeseed oil will give flavor too but stop the butter from burning so this needs to just literally come back to the boil and then what we're going to do next is we're going to slice our potatoes for the top of this so just peel potatoes i'm just using rooster potatoes i'm going to pick a couple uh, here probably two might be enough i have a third one there just in case i need it and i'm going to actually slice them really nice and thick not too thin now you can use a, an attachment called uh, a piece of equipment called a japanese mandolin but i'm just going to slice them by hand so cut them nice and thick curve your fingers and you don't soak them 
because we want them to kind of like uh, stick together so we do on top of the actual the beef hot pot so the Worcester sauce is a great ingredient you can put garlic into that you can put mushrooms you can put smoked bacon I really just wanted to keep it very very simple using the very best of Irish beef some nice vegetables and potatoes sure what's not to like and I think that gravy is absolutely delicious from Spice of Life they also do a poultry gravy pepper sauce so they're they're based down in Dunmanway and I've had the pleasure to visit them okay so this is a coming to the boil we're going to season this up and i'm using some of the oriel sea salt for this so a couple of good pinches of this and then some black pepper so this is what we're going to do next is we're going to put the potatoes on top of this and we're going to bake this off in the oven i already have one done because my one took about an hour and 20 25 minutes so look at that it's nice and saucy so remember one tub of the gravy you can use two tubs i used one one tub of the water and that kind of just loosens it up a little bit so th th this is the fun part we're going to just literally place our potatoes i'll just go like that and we're going to overlap and then you don't have to be too particular don't be worrying about it this is good comfort food at its best you're kind of overlapping this and this is the potatoes are going to soak in all these lovely juices so they are so that's the key of this recipe these beautiful big chunks of potatoes that lovely melt in the mouth soft meat and then also you have that really nice vegetables and the sauce now just move that there perfect lovely there we go the last one there now what i like to do next is just brush the potatoes just i just have a little bit of melted butter so just using a pastry brush and then just brush this all over and we're going to put a little bit of thyme onto it and then it goes into the oven it's as easy as that so for the one i'm going to show you now what i did was have the oven preheated at 180 put it in for about an hour and then turn up the oven to 200 actually put it on with the lid on i'll show you that in a moment and then what you do for the last 20 minutes you take the lid off so you get lovely color in the potatoes you're going to see this one here now a little bit of fresh thyme again using the scissors just to um pick this off and this is going to give lovely flavor onto the potatoes you're going to get all those lovely beautiful flavors so that's going to kind of mop up all those lovely juices coming from the beef coming from the vegetables and that lovely beef gravy so just those little tiny wee sprigs and even like that it looks so pretty the melted butter will give lovely flavor and color and there we go and a little bit more salt now what i need like to do lid on that goes in them to the oven at 180 and this is my uh, casserole pot so we have two different sizes this one here and the red one here behind me it can work on gas which i'm using on induction which i use in the cookery school on electric gas as i said it can go into the oven but it is heavy but it's absolutely fantastic piece of kit so i'm going to move this one out of the way and what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you the other one so i'll just move this because i have one done so remember that goes into the oven like that okay with the lid on uh, for one hour at 180 and then take the lid off turn up the oven to 200 it's fan temperature and then for about 20 minutes until the potatoes are golden brown and cooked through you're going to see this now wow yes look at that so you see that lovely caramelization from the butter look the lovely thyme there that goes back in there like going to the gym and then we're going to chop a little bit of parsley and that's it you just literally serve that up you'll see all that lovely uh, the lovely bits of um, or sliced of potatoes the nice chunks of meat and it is just the ultimate comfort food so you cook it 180 with the lid on and then what you do is take the lid off for the final 20 minutes and that's where you're going to get see that lovely color there and then just check it i'll just show you just here that's cooked through the beef is done it's hiding in there so it is but that is such a beautiful kind of comfort food and it's kind of like a pity to scoop it out because it looks so pretty you can serve that on the table as long as you use something like a trivet like that and be careful because the handles will be hot and um, so the cassa iron uh, pot will keep it lovely and soft and moist and delicious and then with the sliced potatoes and you can see that lovely caramelization there look at that Amanda so that's going to give lovely kind of flavor to it and and just i i just think it's a really lovely recipe so i hope you try this that's my beef and vegetable hot pot with the lovely sliced potatoes using the very best of the simply better beef from ballon robe so enjoy this very simple and delicious recipe thank you